Hamish, our design guru, is back and we are talking carpet. Morning, Hamish. Good morning, and we are talking carpet. Some people may say that might be a little bit boring, but... I say, it's, I say it's dazzling. I say it's dazzling. Well, we've got a few minutes to make carpet absolutely dazzling. Let's start. I'm Let's just going to start it. playing with them. Okay. Uh, firstly, what's on trend with carpet at the moment? Cut pile and predominantly solution dyed nylon, what you've got in your hand. Which there. I've got in my hand. And this is a cut pile as opposed yep. to the loop, which is the ones over there. Correct. This is, this is a loop pile. And this is a wool loop pile. If I was personally wanting a, a loop pile carpet, I would go for a wool one. Mm -hmm. I think they look better. I prefer the texture of them. When it, when it comes to choosing carpet, effectively you've got to choose what suits you in your day-to-day -day life. Okay, well let's talk then, which is the big argument I've heard many times, yep. wool versus synthetic. Which is better? What are the pros and cons? Okay, uh, let's cover off quickly how they're made. Wool is a yarn, obviously it comes from a sheep. Yep. It's put in the vat and it's dyed, so it's like an apple. The colour's on the outside of it. The better the quality of the wool, the longer it holds the colour for. Okay. okay. It's that simple. Right. Solution dyed nylon is extruded, so the colour's put in the vat and then it's pulled out, it's like a carrot, so the colour's right the way through. Therefore, it doesn't fade in the sunlight. So if your question is, Hamish, I want dark carpet and I don't want it to fade, Solution Dyed Nylon is your carpet. That was exactly my question, Hamish. You there just took is. the words right out of I know, mouth. I know. It's pretty much the standard thing. I mean, over the past sort of six years, we saw a big swing to dark carpet. Yeah. We are graduating back into the sort of mid-tones now. That... Which is great because that doesn't show the dirt so much. Well, it doesn't show the dirt as much. And um, a thing to, to understand, too, is when you're choosing the carpet, if you are, have got a high traffic area, mm -hmm. you are going to want you get, to get your carpet cleaned more often if it's a Solution Dyed Nylon. The reason for this is we've all seen a sheep you know, dirty sheep running around a paddock, and then the farmer parts the wool and you see this glistening white animal underneath. Right. Yeah, well, that's because wool's got a crinkle, so it pushes the dirt to the outside. Okay. Keeps the sweet sheep clean, you see. Okay. Uh, solution dye nylon, of course, has no crinkle. Right. They did experiment trying to put the crinkle in. Didn't work. Didn't work so well? No, so you need to deep clean it to get the dirt out of the pile. Okay, then if you've got small children, say, which is going to be better, which is easier to clean and which is, yeah. which is harder wearing, wool or synthetic? I, I would still go with the synthetic. Like three questions all mixed into one there, Hamish. I know. I know. Try that one. Um, small babies, um, when they're sick, I can tell you now, mm, it's going to damage both. Right. Uh, that's the one thing that you're going to like. I don't know. When I carried my sweet son up the staircase once, had wool carpet, he was sick. What do you do? You clean your child, right? Not yeah. your carpet. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, cool. Should have left in. him in the kitchen. Because <laughs> uh, there were spots all the way up the carpet where the, 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 it had taken the, the goodness out of my sweet carpet. Okay. Actually, it wasn't in my house. So what am I saying? <laughs> Why the problem? But you've got to watch it on both. But I would go with the nylon because it doesn't shed. I'm sold on the product myself. Right. It's okay. where I would head. Okay, great to know. And so this is obviously something that is developing all the time too, the synthetic. Uh, yep. Well, that's really nice. I guess you just got to do a bit of research and work out what's right for you. It's what's right for you. Pros and cons of both. Thank you so much, Hamish. No Always problem. a pleasure to have you in the studio with us.